Hey, here we are. Hey, Sean. Hey. Thanks a lot for doing this Facebook Live video for us. Um, we're super excited about this because if you look behind me, we have 16 people that are super excited to try the winning pasta dish that Chef Accursio did at the Pasta World Championship about two weeks ago exactly. Um, we're just now anticipating it all happening, and the reality is, is you're going to see it all get prepared before they get a chance to even try. So let's say goodbye to these folks. Let's head into the kitchen, see what Accursio is up to. Before we head in, though, I just want to talk a little bit about the competition. If you want to show this poster for a minute, um, the short story is is that about two months ago, um, Chef Accursio, along with 20 other chefs around the world, were selected for the seventh annual Pasta World Championship. A big honor. Um, all expenses paid, flown to Italy, three-day competition, where on the first day, 20 chefs started. At the end of the day, there's only 10. On the second day, I started with 10, ended up with three. Curcio made it all the way through. It's down to three chefs. He competed on Friday, September 29th, and he won it all. And what we're going to do now is we're going to head into the Solari kitchen, and Chef Curcio is going to describe, and you're going to see him create this dish from scratch. The championship winning dish in the Pasta World Championship. Let's head on in and see what Curcio is doing. And then we're going to head back and check out this dish. I apologize, it might be a little bit noisy. Um, don't touch anything, lots of hot burners, sharp knives. Oh, there he is. Anyways, this is where all the magic happens on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, the dish is actually pretty complex. So what you're going to see is going to be a variety of layers. A lot of different uh, types of seafood. We want to thank our friends at uh, Catalina Offshore, Tommy Gomes and the team. Um, all of the seafood this evening that you're going to see Chef Accursio prepare all comes from Catalina Offshore, except for the caviar. No caviar from Tommy Gomes. Curcio, let us know when you want to jump in and say a few words. In a couple of minutes. No problem. Basically, what you're going to see from Chef Curcio is we have a um, we have a base of um, yellowtail carpaccio, and we're going to see that happen in just a few minutes. On that base of carpaccio, you're going to see um, the uh, pasta, which he's using a version of spaghetti for that. The spaghetti has lots of great stuff in it, including calamari. And then on top of that, you see he's preparing the scallops. The scallops are going to be there as well. And then on top of all of that is going to be the caviar. Uh, Chef Accursio will describe it better than I just did, but you're going to have a lot of fun watching the full preparation. You get for me, yeah? Oh, yeah. So we are feeding the, the scallop. <laughs> They've been marinating in the guanciale fat. Guanciale is cured pork, which is present in the carbonara. As you can see, all the fat. This one is from the guanciale. We are going to sit it just in one side. I'm going to season a little bit more with salt and pepper. I don't know if all of you are watching this even like scallops, but these scallops are absolutely gorgeous. Seared beautifully. For another table out there, we have some beautiful uh, Angus medallions. Mercurio, as far as the spaghetti here, just in a nutshell, what's in there? What are some of the key ingredients in your spaghetti, the pasta? In the sauce? Yeah. It's, uh, now they are cooking with a base of uh, shallot garlic and a little bit of chili. And then we are putting this one. It's a stock made with bran and, uh, and fish bone. So to give all the flavor to the pasta. So now the pasta is finished the cooking with, with the stock. 
So all the flavor they're gonna get absorbed from the pasta. Uh, because uh, we had the, there are a lot of pasta we cook into different batch with three minutes of distance of time. Second sauce, which we made a couple of minutes ago. Caxa. Absorbing the sauce, so that during the time that the, sauce, that the pasta absorbs the sauce, they release the starch, which it has on the the starch it has on the outside, and so that uh, help us to make creamy, to make basically an emulsion between the pasta and the sauce. At the, at the last minute, we will also add, which is now, we are adding the, the calamari. So as you may know, this uh, competition is hosted each year by the Berea Pasta Company. So we are using the uh, Berea Pasta for this dish here. And that's what Accursio used in the competition as well. This also gives you a feeling what it's like to be in the Solari kitchen. Kind of a little bit of a hectic environment. Uh, we're actively running the restaurant tonight, so everything is happening. So we're gonna have, this is a, a zest of uh, green and ripe mandarin. Show parsley, not too much. I wish all of you listening to this and watching it could actually smell that mandarin. It is absolutely incredible. And this one is the base of the hex, the seafood base. Those are a uh, base of clam and mussel cooked. Uh, we have salmon eggs, we have botarga, which they are cured eggs, we have a sea urchin eggs, and we have another kind of eggs that... that Now on the final day of the competition in Italy, how long did you have to create this dish from scratch? One hour. One hour. And how many portions did you make on that day? Seven, uh, no, yeah, about seven. Seven. Eight, I think, yeah. Actually, no, ten. <laughs> ten. And that hour includes making a beautifully plated everything, right? Everything. It's like yeah. time at this moment. Can I have a fork? A fork, please. Also, it's so, so good. 
So basically there's uh, 16 people for this special dinner tonight, so what you're seeing is yeah, the first guys. preparing the, the whole Who's setting for me? 16 plates. We have the plate, we do like one at a time, okay? Uh, hi. Andre, do you have a... Do you have, do you have a Temo, you have a restaurant? Okay. What we have here is the yellowtail. So this is raw, uncooked yellowtail carpaccio. Just like you might have a beef carpaccio, but in this case it's yellowtail from Catalina Offshore. Um, the thing that's cool about this is it's raw now, but as the Curcio puts on the pasta, it's basically going to cook the fish underneath the heated pasta. Now, as everybody knows, there's three key ingredients to go. Tamo just put down there in the corner some really wonderfully cooked wild Baja shrimp. These are not Baja, really. Those are oh. red spot prime. Oh, these are, I'm sorry, the red prime. Sorry about that. Take that back. Not Baja shrimp. You see the pasta, you saw that all prepared sitting on the base of the yellowtail carpaccio. Now the scallops go on. The red prawns. So good. Ten more to go after this. With this dish, uh, Chef Acurcio recommends a really nice Chardonnay. There's some great Italian Chardonnays, or obviously here in California, have great Arkansas? Chardonnays. Came out assisting. Not to digress, but as I mentioned, those are the lamb chops we're serving so good. Petra! Thanks, who is running the store, guys? Everybody. Okay, let's have to go. You're gonna go slow, so there's a little bit. Yeah, please. Two plates at the time. You can take the whole tray out with you guys. Take the whole tray. Come
The key, of course, is the preparation ahead of time. Because the Crucio wants to have, from the first dish to the last dish, be as short as humanly possible. Because everybody at the table obviously likes to be served at the same time. Two more batches will be done and then uh, Chef can tell us a little bit about how he felt after the competition was done and hearing his name announced. Tutte due uguali sono. Time you're planning a dinner for family and friends, just uh, keep this all in mind. Yeah, let's go, guys. Andrea, we need two. We missing. One more. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go, senior. Tail carpaccio, pasta, sauce, scallop, red prawn, caviar.
Give us an applause plate, please. Anybody eating? An applause plate. made an extra plate for the team to try. Yeah, Kirstie was telling me earlier today that this portion is probably about maybe twice or three times as big as what he did for the judges. For them, it was a tasting. So I think we are complete with that, yep. Yeah? Here's go. Here's good. Let's go. Is that the last one ready? Yeah, the last one is out. 17, yeah? So, um, just take uh, one minute. So, how long after you talked to the judges about the dish did you find out you won? And just, how did you feel? One hour and a couple of hours. Yeah. No, I feel great to like to, to achieve the, the winning, but it's a great opportunity already to be there. Yeah. So it was not it was not like in the plane to just like go there and win. Yeah. But it was a great uh, a great place that I arrived. So I'm very, I'm very happy for the opportunity that I had. And the judges were like you know like heroes of yours, right? Like these are like yes, serious. They're, yeah, chefs, they're like right? serious serious chefs. Yeah, better yeah. chefs. Yeah. They're like all Michelin star chefs that they know what they're doing since like many 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 years. So yeah. I'm very happy that I got the honor to be there. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go out to the table and listen to Chef Curcio talk about it and then we'll go ahead and sign off. Pasta is, uh, I call it a carbonara, seafood carbonara, uh, because carbonara is one of the Italian dish that is the most contradictory one. Everyone knows how to make the perfect carbonara, and if you talk with one Italian, your recipe is wrong because their own recipe is better. And that's how we go in Italy pretty much, with anything, with soccer, with coffee, with anything. So I take the carbonara and I made it into my carbonara. I grew up by the water in Sicily, so I decided to do a seafood carbonara. Uh, the carbonara, as you know, is made with hex, uh, pecorino, black pepper, and uh, guanciale, which is uh, cured pork chic, kind of pancetta, kind of like pancetta. Uh, so I take all the, the, this ingredient out, and I basically I replace the hex with uh, five different kind of fish eggs, which we use on the sauce to achieve the kind of viscosity and mouth feeling of the carbonara. Then uh, with, I take some kind of fish to change with. Uh, and I did with the yellowtail, I did a carpaccio on the bottom that is cooking while you're eating. Then with the calamari, I put them inside the pasta. Then we have the scallop, which is seeded with, with seeded, which is marinated in the guanciale fat, and then it's seeded with the pork fat, so give this kind of meat reminder. Then we have a spot run, which is a slow cooked with. Uh, with water and extra virgin olive oil of 100 uh, Fahrenheit. And then we finish with the sapidity of the caviar, which will remind you the cured meat flavor. Uh, and the final touch, because I'm from Sicily, we have a lot of citrus, I finish with uh, green and ripe mandarin zest. Green mandarin, unripe mandarin. To give the kind of, to clean the whole thing out. Yeah, perfect. Yep, that's what it is, yeah. yeah. Bon appetit! Yeah. Now, do you, do you use spaghetti? How would it be different if you use angel air? If I use angel air? Uh -huh. I don't like angel air, I'm not a big fan because they stick together and they lost the, they lost the cooking. 
You can try, but you need to make a small portion of engineering because they stick, they get like... Yeah. Traditionally, we use spaghetti for the carbonara. That's why I use... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's much more refined, you know, like... So I, I know it's thinner, but it's... It, yeah, yeah, different, different product to cook, yeah. Come here, come here. Enjoy it. Awesome. Thank you very much. Very super guy with us in the morning. Okay, everybody, thanks so much for joining us on this Facebook Live, Accursio. It was fun. Thanks for enjoying it. It was long. At least got to see the whole process. Congratulations again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.